All right, here's a pair of Red Wing boots, um, the old Diver Setters, 877s. I'm going to show you how, re how we, a bare shoe works, resole. I'm going to use the real Red Wing sole, not the fake aftermarket, whatever, real stuff. And also we use a uh, pretty heavy duty midsole. As we get along here, you'll see how we do that and go from there. Mm -hmm. um, the key to a good resole is a sharp knife. I think we showed you that last time too. Soles off there, midsole. And that looks like we recorp this one, so you know what happens with laces in a machine. Take them out. So we have to get all this junk out of here, so. I'm ready for uh, cork. <laughs> Of course, the key is a heavy cork, not that thin stuff. So you can get this two different thicknesses. Always get a good, a good cork. Don't get the cheap stuff. The guys, wants your boot fix. He wants good quality stuff. Okay. All right. So after you get a nice little cut there, and you glue it up. Nice coat on there. Yeah. Getting cold from yeah, it's a touch farmer. Yeah, but not really. Oh, so now we're selling it. How's it going today? Yeah, we have to do it. I need this sketched out here. Oh, sure. Here we go. We got the blues dry, so now we gotta get our pork in there. Coffee, so it's a Coke. Yeah. Coca Cola. Anyways, uh, now we got Grinder off. Alright, so we got uh, the blues all dried up and uh, put the midsoles on. So these are waterproof? Yep. Yes, they're not? One machine, you gotta squeeze her down and trim her off. Now that we got a midsole on her, squeezed on, hammered on, now we got to grind the edges and grind a good uh, blue surface here. This is our uh, massive big stitcher. <laughs> we use a sole on the soles, so actually this one's going to sew on the midsole. So it's, it's pretty cool. So hopefully we get a good view here.
use a, a nylon thread and also kind of a polyester blend, I guess. Makes it for a good waterproof stitch. So, there's one. Alright, this is the no. just okay. solvent that we use to I just got done working, so. clean off the sole here, all the dirt and grime, and <laughs> oil. Or... <coughs> Alright, I'm going to sand these ones down. That uh, bare shoe here, or the you know, extra shoe repair we always use for fresh glue when we uh, work on soles. Nice coat on there, get it through the threads. Mm. Not too much, not too little. Just right. Okay, okay. Uh, now the glue is ready to, it's all dry, the glue's ready to be put together. Um, the key is to you know, give them as much heel as possible here because that's what they like. Push her down. There. The other one. There we go. Alright, next step is we're going to hammer it down. Okay, uh, move from that station to this station because this is a concrete floor. Oh, uh, it's on a hardwood floor. It's kind of bouncy. This, this side doesn't bounce. So, when we're hammering, I'm not going to bounce around. Let's have a little heavier hammer over here. She's beat down pretty good. And now, this is a uh, Five and one. This is another part of our five and one. You know, squeeze it on. This gets the edges nice and nice and tight. There. By doing that, that'll that'll never come apart. So, all right, there we go. Okay. Uh, now we got them both. Uh, Hammered, squeezed, ready to be trimmed by hand with a knife. So, of course, a sharp knife. I like to use this kind of knife because it has a little kind of a rounded spot here so you don't cut the boot. So, one of the main reasons why we're expert shoe repair because I've seen some guys use these and it actually will slice the upper, but not here at Bear Shoe. Check us out at bearshoe.com. We also, uh, <clears throat> if you want to ship your boots to us, we can fix them for you here, you know, if you're not from the area. There's one. Now we just uh, let that sit overnight and be all set up and ready for grinding tomorrow. Well, uh, it's the next day, sole's all uh, set up and sealed on there and it's going to grind her off and um, today I'm going to hand it off to one of our new guys who are in this uh, extra true repair deal, Jordan, so he's going to grind it off for you. Have at her.
as you can see, we got more than just boots. We fix other stuff too. But anyways, uh, I'll launch the next step. Yeah. So next step, we're just gonna look over. Look over anything that's wrong with them. We like to check the tongue. You know, if we need to do any stitching. Um, tongue seems to be good on both these. Fairly new pair of boots. Check any other, you know, the, the mock toe, make sure that's all good, which it does. Everything looks pretty solid. So, we're gonna turn the eyes and then get a good coat of oil on them and lace them up. So, I got the eyes all twisted up here. Um, basically, you just twist them to get the, the wear points so they don't, they don't shred laces. Um, so I'm gonna put some nice nice boot oil on here. This is our favorite way to apply it because it's, it goes a lot faster, but just get a nice coat of oil on these nice American made Irish setters. Well, I just got good coat of oil on there. Next step is to, next and almost final <laughs> uh, step is to get some, get some laces in there, so. We like to use some nice, nice heavy duty laces. We don't use this chintzy stuff. I think we actually get our laces right from Red Wing. Oh. So there you go. Oh, yeah, parts. <laughs> awesome. Well, these boots look like these ones. So that's pretty cool. Jordan did a nice job. Um, I think you're standing in front of the sign. Oh, so, yeah. so if you want to, you got a little kind of a inside look at the, I don't know what you call it, the back scenes of bare shorts. Um, need your boots repaired, we fix them for you, we do all kinds of stuff. Anyways, want to check us out at bareshoe.com uh, for expert shoe repair. Not to be, you know, but we're pretty good. So, anyway, all our, those are all done. Yep. All our information is on there, so, um, yeah, just check out the website, and if you have any questions, just give us a call. Give us a call. A lot of guys ship their stuff here, if you're from the area. USPS, whatever, UPS, FedEx, all that stuff. Awesome. Thanks.